Hey, what is up guys? Kevin here with PogPods, and we got some pretty good news. As you know, I love doing a bit of speed duel content, but usually there's not too much to go on. Well, thankfully, Konami has given us something that we can definitely go on and have a good lengthy talk about for at least one video, and uh, maybe open up some other routes for other videos for more deck building and speculation now that we have this information here for us. So uh, there's a lot to unpack here. Let's go right into it. Um, from the start. Um, wow. Uh, we actually are using this Yu-Gi-Oh! blog thing again, which they haven't used in um, quite a while. So, um, where are we? Speed Duel Skill Card Text and Skill Card Rules Update. November 1st, today, um, and yeah. <laughs> Let's get into it. So, this is what they say, we're still a few months away from Speed Duel GX, Duel Academy box, we are. Um, but while you wait, we'd like to announce a few changes to three of the most powerful skill cards along with a new, more thorough explanation of the skill card rules. Um, so if you don't know, the reason this has come out is because during the last remo uh, Remote Duel Extravaganza, um, Speed Duels had a main event, and when you have a main event, you're taken seriously, and they actually look at your format and they say, hey, what's wrong here? And uh, they did absolutely that because guess what? The uh, <laughs> the speed duel main event um, was a dumpster fire. Um, not on Konami's end, but from the decks that were being played and how they were being played. And uh, it was just not fun. Um, and which a lot of people had already known in speed duels is that speed duels is not a lot of fun when you have just Moth and uh, IC running around uh, in a conflict decks running around. Um, we'll get into those about what they did about them. So, skill, tech, skill card text update. The following skill cards text have been updated to the following text. These changes are effective immediately as of today, November 1st. Guess what? You're no longer playing with the old skills written on there. You have to use these updated ones. Let's get into it. First one, Cocoon of Ultra Evolution. Obviously, the biggest problem for the dumpster fire that happened during the Speed Duel main event was because of Moth. And because of Cocoon of Ultra Evolution. Understandable. So, what did it previously do, and what's its new text? So, previously here, well, there we go. Previously here, um, I said activate the following skills during your main phase. You can tribute one insect monster from either field equipped with an equip card, and if you do, special summon one insect monster from your deck, ignoring its summon conditions. Also, flip this card over. Um, so, yeah, normally you would just equip the parasite, um, use the skill and get a free big moth and uh, then you could also use the uh, the moth or not the moth the parasite effect to summon another moth from your head, hand and that was the biggest problem um, I think it's just doing all of that at once is a lot plus another monster you get the normal summon for the turn is really really good especially if it's a breaker just to pop a back row really 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 um, powerful and honestly very unfair uh, and then it had a secondary effect that you can shuffle one insect monster from your graveyard into your deck and then draw a card. Also flip this card uh, over. Each of these skills can only be used once per duel. Um, before we got Breaker, this wasn't too bad. I mean, it was beatable. Um, but once we got Breaker and you, they could just like pop one of your, your responses, like that's, that's too much. So the updated text. What is the updated text? The updated text says, activate one of the following skills, one of the following skills during your main phase, but each can only be used once per duel. Okay, first effect, you can tribute one insect monster from either field equipped with an equip card, still the same, and if you do special summon one insect monster from your deck, ignoring its summoning conditions, again, it's the same still. Um, you cannot normal or special summon other monsters the turn you activate this skill, also flip this card over, so there it is. You cannot normal or special summon other monsters the turn that you activate this skill. No more breaker, we're back to being um, pretty good in... Um, and being able to deal with moth, yes, you can still get two moths out, um, but actually, you know what? You can't. <laughs> you can't get other moths out. I just realized you cannot normal special summon other monsters and turn you activate the skill. Parasite Paranoid Bizarre Effect will not activate because you are not allowed to special summon anything else. One moth. One moth. You get one moth. Good luck. Um, <laughs> that's it. You get one moth and that's it. Um, you do not get double moth. There's the problem. Gone. Don't need to worry about it anymore. Um, because that, that clause is so good. You cannot normal or special summon other monsters, other monsters, the turn you activate this skill. 
perfect. Fixed it completely. Um, I don't have to face down double moth. Nobody has to face down double moth in a turn anymore. Um, and they only have to face down a moth if they go for this. So, uh, The only bad thing about this is that your opponent can't set up the previous turn with something like a breaker um, during their turn one and then turn two. Uh, once you've played, they can uh, still pop a back row, but you still only have to deal with one moth instead of two, so, you know, great. Um, didn't have to ban anything, didn't have to limit anything, you know. Just changed some text and made it perfect. Okay? Um, next card I want to talk about, the, probably the second biggest problem that was a dumpster fire, the reason there was a dumpster fire for the Speed Duel main event at the Yu-Gi-Oh! Extravaganza. Inner Conflict, or IC as people know it. So the previous text here reads, activate this skill during your main phase. Once per duel, you can pay half your life points and take control of one monster your opponent controls until the end phase, but it cannot attack directly this turn. Gave you a lot of room to do whatever you wanted, and the pay cost was always live. You, you mean, you, you, the card was always live. You never had to worry about how much you had to pay. Now guess what? You do. Because the updated text says, once per duel, during your main phase, you can pay 2,000 life points and take control of one monster your opponent controls that can be normal summoned and or set until the end phase, but it cannot attack directly or be tributed this turn. Icy's dead. But it's good. Let me explain why. IC allowed you to play a lot of different decks in a lot of different ways, um, but the, the main goal was to always take an opponent's monster, tribute summon, and have something really, really good. Usually it was Jinzo, it was Kaiser Glider, sometimes it was Grandmar, uh, what's it called? Uh, Barrel Dragon, I believe is what it is. Cool. Very, very cool. You could summon things. Now, eh, nope, not doing it anymore. And you have to pay 2,000 life points, exactly 2,000. So if your opponent gets you under 2,000, this card's dead. You're not playing it for the rest of the turn unless you recover life points somehow. Um, I love this, and I'll tell you why I love this. I love this for the fact that, yes, I see is a very annoying deck, even though I played it in um, in the Extravaganza, in the Speed Duel main event. Um, but I love the deck, It's but it's it's bad for the, the health of the game. Um, I think a lot of people realize that when this skill got, <coughs> excuse me, announced, um, way back in what, 2019, and, um, we got it in, we got it in 2020, yeah, um, in like June or something like that, it was, it was late, it was like May, um, but anyway, a lot of people knew this was going to be a problem, um, right off the bat, and it didn't, and it stayed around, um, even after the Battle City box, um, and it would have stayed around even longer after the, um, GX box, but here's the thing, why it's good, that's gone, alright, and now with this gone, as nerfed as it is, as neutered as it is, because it's not gonna show up in, um, you know, it's just not gonna show up in any type of, uh, competitive speed duel format, um, is now we don't have to worry about what's put in the GX box. We don't have to worry. We don't. Have, we can be a little bit more carefree about what is put in. You know, give us, give us the, um, the, the rest of the monarchs now. Give us, you know, uh, you can give us Cyber Dragon now. Um, give us. Uh, you, you see what I'm saying? Just like give us, give us everything. Um, because now, before people were saying, "Well, oh, Cyber Dragon, I can just plop a Cyber Dragon down, steal your stuff, and then tribute for something big, and then wham, bam, it's over." You know, I summon a Jinzo or something. It's gone. I really would like to see Cyber Dragon now because of this. And a lot of people will still say, no, it's too good. It's Well, you know, we obviously we can deal with things, right? Um, Konami has proven that, and they will deal with it. Um, so, you know, we've gotten errata, so, you know, maybe next step is having a limited list. Limited and semi-limited list. Maybe not a ban list, but a semi and a limited list. I'm fine with that. And I think uh, Cyber Dragon has a spot in... The GX box because it is such an important card um, of the era. I like to see it. Honestly, I would just like to see it. Inner conflicts dead. All the problems that a lot of these other uh, speed duel um, Yu-Gi-Oh YouTubers had, or Yugi tubers, I hate saying that. Um, a lot of the problems that they had was the fact that IC was around and it's too powerful and it's just ugh, you know. So now. You don't have to worry about that because it's dead and this is this really sucks if it was just pay 2000 and you could still tribute it it would be okay uh, you just have to do it really early and they'd be more aggressive even more aggressive than they currently were um, 
but not only did they say it has to be something that's 2000 but with this even if you were to continue playing this and you just said well you know i can still take big things you can't take moth you can't take uh any of the xc's um xyz fusions you can't take <laughs> it's it's bad it's really really bad i see is dead uh, and also it can't be attributed um, it can it still has the the effect where it can't attack directly um it can attack monsters but that's all you're going to be using this for you're going to get a normal summon or set monster um and then you're going to be able to attack a monster with it um and the best target here is obviously um breaker with the um counter still on it but even then it's like this is bad so you know i see dead never going to see it again um unless there's something that's just like well i don't want a tribute you know who knows? But we'll see. And the last one that they updated here for us is a uh, beautiful, fix that, a beautiful uh, twisted personality. If you don't know twisted personality, it was also represented in the Speed Duel Extravaganza or the Yu-Gi-Oh uh, Remote Duel Extravaganza for the Speed Duel main event, um, and it, it's pretty good. Um, but they kind of nerfed this too, and this kind of puts in check burn. But we'll, we'll, we'll talk about it. So the previous text said each time a player loses life points, place one counter on this card, max three. Once per turn during your main phase, you can use one of the following skills. Remove two counters from this card, then discard one random card from your opponent's hand. Or you can remove three counters from this card and destroy one face-up card your opponent controls. It was good. You can see how that's used in burn. Uh, obviously, uh, when a player loses life points, bam, you know, you get a counter. And eventually you just built up... Um, uh, uh, resources and burning and you depleted your opponent's resources either by destroying the cards on your opponent's side of the field and or uh, discarding a random card from their hand still good uh, but the updated text now says each time that you lose life points so it's it doesn't work off burn unless you're getting burned um, place one counter on this card max three once per turn in your main phase you can use one of the following skills Remove two counters from this card, then discard one random card from your opponent's hand, or remove three counters from this card to destroy one face of card your opponent controls. The effect is still the same, except now the only word that's changed is from a player to you. Um, card is not much, much worse. It's still, it, it's just not good. <laughs> it's just not good. Um, so with that being said, um, with all these decks, honestly, you're going to be going, um, well, you know, as as uh, the Green Goblin once said, you're going back to formula, which is, you know, still really good. Um, no, it's not. It's terrible. <laughs> um, so, yeah, this is all terrible. Um, terrible in a good way, in the sense that um, we did it, boys. Speed duels is saved. Um, but the problem is now is that there's only really one really good deck um, and then a bunch of mediocre decks and that one really good deck is uh, XYZ so <clears throat> we'll see how that goes um, maybe that's not too bad though maybe it's good that XYZ is the best deck now um, it's just bad dude oh man these decks suck now but what are you gonna do I honestly really like it. So, XYZ, I guess that's what we're playing until, um, when does this come out? February? The GX box? February, right? Okay. Um, but yeah, some other information. Um, they go on to say we'll be including these updated skill cards in the Speed Duel Tournament Pack 3. Ooh. So, does that mean these are going to be foil? As supers? Which kind of sucks though, because they're the shitty ones. But you know, they're still foil skills, which we haven't seen in a very long time. So, <clears throat> confirmation on Speed Duel Tournament Pack 3 though. Nice! Um, currently slated for March of next year. Nice! And remember to play your original copies of these skilled cards as if they have the updated text. Okay. Speaking of skill cards, oh, we do have to go over this. This is also a great time to go over the rules for skill cards. The, G, uh, the Speed Duel GX Duel Academy box is loaded with 20 brand new skill cards. Hey, look, some information. 20 brand new skill cards. I'm going to allow a duelist to summon powerful fusion monsters. Yeah. Yeah, I kind of like the Kaiba skill for XYZ. Okay. There's been some confusion on how skills 
excuse me, that summon monsters work, does the monster just appear? Is there anything that can be done to the monster? With another speed duel box on the way, we took the opportunity to clarify the common scenario and the updated rules for skill cards. So they have a list here. Um, one, this is just for you guys, just in case you haven't played speed duels and you want to get into it. Skill cards are probably the most confusing aspect of the game. Um, one, you're not required to use skill cards, but if you do, choose one ex exactly one skill card before each duel. Two, at the start of the duel, place one skill card face down next to your field zone or extra deck, unless the skill card instructs you to do something else with it, i.e. it's a toon world that tells you to place it in the center spell and trap zone and flip it over at the start of the duel. Three, if a skill says that it's a certain type of card in its type line, like continuous spell or continuous trap, then after the duel begins, it is always treated as that type of card and follows all the rules for that type of card instead of the rules for skill cards. Four, during the duel, you can activate your skill by flipping it face up. If your skill tells you that tells you when you can activate it, you can only activate it at that time when there is no chain being built or resolved. If your skill doesn't say when you can activate it, then you can only activate it during your main phase when there is no chain being built or resolved. For more information on how to determine when the game is or isn't in an open state, click here. Obviously, it's going to lead you to, um, I'm sure, their um, yeah, fast effect, all their time, all their ruling stuff in the chart. Here you go. Follow this chart. Alright, um, yeah, five, activating a skill or skill card does not start a chain and is not a card effect. Card effects, card slash effects cannot be activated in response to the activation of a skill. However, cards and effects can be activated after a skill has resolved as appropriate, i.g. if Cocoon of Ultra Evolution special summoned the monster, then after that monster is summoned, players can activate cards and effects just like any other time a monster is summoned. So cards like Floodgate Trap Hole and Adhesion Trap Hole can be activated. Uh, I know this was a big thing um, before um, the, the main event um, that caused some problems, but we won't go too far into that. It's done. It's over with. Um, hey, guess what? You can Floodgate Trap Hole and Adhesion Trap Hole um, things that summon. So um, before, I don't believe we were allowed to do this. It was still a closed um, game state. Um, so, like, there was no window for it, but I guess now you can. Especially Floodgate Trap Hole and Adhesion Trap Hole was really weird, because I specifically remember not being able to activate things in response to summon effects of skills. Um, so, cool. Uh, number six, the skill on your skill card can only be activated once per duel unless it has a specific instruction otherwise or flips itself face down. If it does, follow the instructions on your skill card. Okay. It's pretty, pretty simple. And they sum it all up at the end with some skills can do some far out things that no card can do. If a skill does something wild and unexpected that you've never seen before, that's great. Skills are part of what makes speed dueling so much fun, so embrace the weirdness and get ready to get your game on. Here we go. They're excited. We're excited for the Speed Duel GX box. Oh boy, here it comes. Uh, I believe that last line here is to prepare us for what is going to be some of the skills <laughs> um, for speed duels uh, in the GX box. So, where are we? Well, as of now, in playing speed duels competitively um, for prizes, uh, whether it be side events or another main event before the GX box, we are in a really, really, really interesting place. A good place, maybe not. A really interesting place, yes. Um, here's why. Again, these decks suck. Um, only one that didn't get, you know, totally destroyed and can still spam out a 3500 attack point monster is Moth. But now you don't have to deal with two of them and you're not going to get two out in one turn. Uh, you will get one out and, and you can set things and you don't even get the draw the same turn. So, in a scenario where you're going... Second, you'll have five cards in your hand, one of them being Parasite. You're going to equip it to your opponent's things. Okay. <laughs> you're going to activate this, summon a Moth from your deck. Okay, so you're down to four cards. So, yeah. And if you have a Moth in hand, it's just dead in there now. I like that. I like that because it also makes your opponent start playing other cards again. Um... Still have to deal with Zomas. Still have to deal with um, Nightmare Wheels. Still have to deal with Breakers. Um, they still do pop things. Um, 
at this point I can see Moth not playing Breaker, um, just to play something like Night Beam, so maybe Night Beam goes up in price for a little bit. Um, especially if you're playing Moth, you're going to play Night Beam instead. Pop, 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 3500, buy, you know. But you're not going to kill in one turn, which is the good news. Um, so Moth is still good. It's it's playable in the sense that you get a 3500 monster, and that is still pretty huge for speed duels. Um, yeah. Uh, I see is dead. You'll rarely ever see this anywhere. Um, you don't have to worry about this ever again, which is good. Just the personality might show up here and there, especially if Burn becomes relevant. This might just move to a side deck card, especially if you are playing against Burn. Um, we might see this um, when the volcanic stuff comes out. If they do decide to put in more burn stuff, like the important burn stuff, um, I think it's I think it's good now. I think you can put in scatter shot. I think you can put in um, uh, the reload, the trap card um, for the burn. I think that's fine because now they can't profit off of it. But you can profit off of it um, really easily um, from taking damage so this might be a side deck card for burn decks now instead of being f used by burn decks so yeah that's just a bit of speculation there um, but it'll be nice to see these in foil if they continue that trend um, of having foil cards for uh, the tournament packs I'm sure they will uh, super super and then ultras um, so hopefully these will all be supers and uh, you'll get some foilness good foilness out of them so um, but yeah, and then tournament pack three is going to be, uh, coming around the corner pretty soon. We're excited. And, uh, yeah, there's, there's not much else to say after that. Um, just, just really good. Great. Glad to see Konami actually taking some care and time to try to fix this format. Um, because it is such a fun format and these three skills were really ruining the format. Um, more, more so inner conflict, um, but even more so with the point where there was two 3500 bodies and then a 1600 body or 1900 body on field. I'm glad this was nerfed heavily. Nerfed heavily, dead, um, side deck potential. So, <clears throat> Look guys, let me know what you think down in the comments below. Um, go ahead, leave a like if you enjoyed this video. Um, are you happy about this? Are you upset about this? Um, are you happy, but are you happy, but upset about, the, you know, like, oh great, I'm glad they did it, but man, I love to play that deck. Um, what other decks can compete against XYZ besides Moth, um, in the new neutered version that it is? Um, yeah, just leave a comment down below. Um, uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, give us a share here or there, go check out all the links down below. And, uh, yeah, this was Kevin with Pogpogs. Until next time, guys, see ya.